Yo, what's going on, SMT Nation? It's your boy, the SMT. Uh, we're filming here. We're in the CLE. We're on the west side. We're in West Park, segment of Cleveland. And we're at this tower site. It's a macro, but man, is it like really, really low. Uh, you have Ryzen at the top. You got AT&T sandwiched in the middle. And then there's a uh, T-Mobile site at the bottom. So you got the Band 71. You got that, um, you know, um, got the N41 there was all the LTE stuff that's inside of that larger panel and then at the top exciting you have millimeter wave from Verizon at the, the the top you'll see I don't know if maybe I can zoom in a little bit more for you guys all right so that one with the little square in it that's a Nokia millimeter wave node and below it you have CBRS then you have all the other LTE stuff now I'm not sure about the one that's on the left I don't know what that is but I mean I'm assuming it's some kind of mid-band Anyways, that's the site. Maybe some of you guys know what you're looking at there, but uh, we're going to test all the carriers. We're going to test T-Mobile here on the right. They've got the N41 situation. We'll see how that performs. That test is ongoing. And then we have Verizon in the middle, and that's in LTE mode for the iPhone 12. And then we have Verizon in 5G mode, and it's not picking up the millimeter wave. I'm guessing I'm too far under it, and it's not really connecting but I am picking up the CBRS, and actually that's kind of one I want, why I wanted to test those two, the CBRS and LTE mode, and then the CBRS under the 5G moniker to show you how they compare and how they're different. Uh, there's T-Mobile with the N41 at 239 down, 77 on the up. That's um, interesting. It's not picking up the N41. I'll run another test. Should be picking it up. All right, let's look at the uh, configuration here on the 5G mode for the iPhone. All right, so we got 20 megahertz of band four, that's AWS, 20, 48, 20 band 48, and then 10 of 13. So we got 20, 40 CBRS, 10 band 13. Oh, there's another CBRS down there. All right, so we got 60 CBRS, I think. We'll go ahead and run it again, take another look at it. So we got the 20 megahertz of band four. There's 2048, 2048, 2048, that's 60. And then 10, that's 70, that's 90 megahertz of spectrum. All right, so that is a lot. All right, and I think band 13 is the one doing the uplink. Maybe band four, I'm, I'm not sure. It probably is the AWS, but I'm assuming it's not as fast because I'm right under this Dagon thing. Anyways, let's go ahead and run it on the iPhone in LT mode and see if it's any different. And then here's... Uh, that newest test from T-Mobile, the Band 41, 583 down, 74.6 on the up. And there's the CBRS. I'm guessing this is probably running, I don't know, I'm, I'm assuming the 80 megahertz of CBRS and then probably the the 20 and the 10 of the Band 13 and the Band 4. Uh, band four. So... I'm surprised I'm not picking up the millimeter wave, but then again, not really, because I am so far under it. But the rest of the stuff is pretty good. You got 486 down, 50 on the up. Better to be in LT mode when you're trying to run CBRS. So that might be a situation to, you know, maybe test. I'm going to go ahead and go to fast.com and see if it makes a difference. Uh, this is the unlimited plan. This is the original unlimited plan from like 2005 or whatever. Uh, this one is actually the 2017 New Verizon Unlimited, so it's a different access. It probably will only give me like 10 megabits on the down like Yeah, it's capping it. So um, this one is Magenta Business. Uh, let me run it fast.com and see what it does. It'll start off real fast, and then it gets throttled down. Yeah, it'll pro I'll probably end up around like 2 megabits or something. Just so you guys could see the fast.com on it. Anyways, let me know your comments, uh, what you guys thought of the testing down in the comment section. Let me know what you think of T-Mobile's performance, Verizon, the LT, the 5G, the CBRS. Let me know what you guys think of that. Go ahead and drop me a line. Thank you for taking this opportunity to watch the SMT YouTube channel. If you appreciated this video, give it a like and a share to all your favorite social media platforms. Thank you in advance for that. Also, check out some of the links in the description box. We have the SMT Patreon page. We also have the Twitter handle at Sneed Tech. And do check out the audio-only podcast available on all the major podcast platforms. And if you are new have not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and activate the bell notification icon so you never miss an upload from the SMT. We'll catch you on the next video. Peace.